please open up from your unit F folder at school for Photoshop a document called PSF-1 and when you open it up you should see a document that looks like this the first thing you need to do right away is click file save as and choose your removable disk at school it's called removable disk E and please change the name from PSF-1 to Soap Opera and click Save. When the document is finished saving, the title bar should now display Soap Opera instead of PSF-1. Now there's a couple of things you need to do before you start um, working with this document. Please click the default foreground and background colors button on the toolbox to make the foreground color black and the background color white. Also, if you don't see the rulers displayed, click view and then click show rulers. If you do have rulers, just verify that the unit is in pixels. You can do this by clicking on the ruler and clicking off pixels. And I will click the layers palette and there is going to be a layer called Little Cream Bud. Okay. And the Little Cream Bud layer, there's a eye symbol. Okay, this is the indicates layer visibility button. I will click this button to hide this cream bud. So when I click that eye, that little cream bud disappears. Okay, it's not gone. It's made. It's only invisible at the moment. Okay, we can always make it come back by clicking the indicates layer visibility button again. Okay. Also, the little purple bud. Okay, this bud here. I will click the eye to hide this layer as well. So now, those two flowers that were um, covering up the candle, well, they're invisible, so now we can see the candle much more clearly. Okay. Then, um, click the layer uh, representing the candle. So click the candle layer on the layer palette. And that means we're, we're now going to work on this candle. Go up to filter in the main menu bar, point to blur. Okay, all these options are alphabetical, so blur is near the top. And then point to motion blur and click it. Click motion blur. And you will get a box that uh, appears called the motion blur dialog box. The angle, right now it's zero, but you can type in 85. And distance, right now mine says 10, but you can type 15. Uh, likewise, you can also change the values by dragging the slider or spinning okay, this wheel. Okay. So again, we want a value of positive 85 for the angle and 15 for the distance. Okay. So when the values um, are set to 85 and 15, click OK. And you can see that now a motion blur has been applied to the candle layer and the candle uh, appears blurry. Okay, now you can click the indicates layer visibility button on the little cream layer to make that bud appear, and you can click the indicates visibility button on the little purple bud layer to make that purple bud reappear, and compare your image to figure F-3 uh, in your handout on page 2.